Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today I want to talk a little bit about uh, Leaving Neverland, Michael Jackson, the whole debacle, and where I think this is going. So uh, I actually made a video about my thoughts about this whole unpersoning and censorship and stuff as far as music goes. Uh, I made a video is with the art and the whole R. Kelly thing happened. And in the video, I said, it's not going to stop there. And it's going to go on. And eventually, it's going to get to just random people. And I'm not saying Michael Jackson is random, but the thing after Michael Jackson. It's the equivalent of, well, I'm going to knock off this one guy everybody dislikes or everyone had things about already. So when it happens, you're already used to the concept of me just getting rid of people. And when I move on to your neighbor next, or you in particular, everyone's just going to be like, well, this is how it goes. Like, this is how it's supposed to be. This, to me, is dangerous. I can't stress this enough. This could not be even more dangerous. Because here we are at a point where we're going to say, uh, for, forget, forget Michael Jackson. Just think of him just a random person. It's kind of like Donald Trump, where... Everybody hates Donald Trump, but if you take Donald Trump's name out of it and just looked at it as person A, and you're looking at what's happening to person A, is this good? This is right? Yada, yada. Like, you know, like you, people have strong feelings left to right about Michael Jackson and whether or not he did it and this and that, whatever. So forget, forget Michael Jackson as a person. We're getting to a point in society right now where... We're saying someone could just make an accusation against you, not in court, just on Twitter. And, and see, for, for people in the hip-hop community and people who've been listening to uh, quote-unquote urban music, this kind of stuff where people have made accusations and ruined people's lives has been going on for a while now. People in our community love drama they love it so you know they they can't wait to cancel somebody they can't wait to make fun of somebody memes or you know make jokes about somebody on in comedy or whatever this thing that's been going on is sprinkled over into mainstream now and i'm concerned long term i'm concerned about it uh you know taking r kelly out of my playlist I mean, it's not that big a deal. I barely played any R. Kelly as it was. Um, you know, even Michael Jackson. I don't even play that much Michael Jackson. But, you know, where do we stop? <laughs> Are we saying that somebody who did something wrong, hypothetically or even allegedly, and all we need is an accusation and that's enough to <laughs> pull you off Spotify we don't allow you to go on tour. You can't be on TV. We can't play your music on the radio anymore. We can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, where are we with this? Because we're past the point of, well, let's find stuff in court law. Because Michael Jackson, for instance, uh, some people he settled with, so that can't say yes or no, he did it. And other people he flat out beat in court, <laughs> exonerated. So, his thing's murky. It's always been murky. And I've heard the arguments for and I've heard the arguments against. And that's why I say, forget Michael Jackson. Where are we after Michael Jackson? You know what I'm saying? Like, are we pulling up old rap lyrics? Because <laughs> Jay-Z, PMD, Nas, like, they've all said stuff that was offensive or it could be could taken either way. Or, you know, like, stuff you have to be like, wow. And Jay-Z in particular, man, how feminist ride with this guy based on his four, first four albums is, <laughs> it's amazing to me. <laughs> I, used to, I was a diehard Jay-Z fan, even if I didn't agree with some of his lyrics. And his songs in particular are like Cashmere, uh, Cashmere Thoughts. I think that's the song. Um, the Ain't No N***a no, Like The One I Got. Look at it. The stuff he wrote for Foxy Brad, like Jay-Z said and done stuff on tour, and it's like a whoa. And so the fact that feminists are kind of looking the other way, or even forget feminists, like just people who are in the pitchfork, pitchfork, 
oh, you said something rude 15 years ago, like in Kevin Hart's case, but we're going to ruin your career today. Even if you ask for forgiveness or you, you moved on from that thing in your life and you're not, you don't do that anymore you know, or you apologize, that's all irrelevant. <laughs> we're at the pitchfork phase. We're the burn down the acres and ask questions later. I think that's a new phrase. I think I made that up. But like this is this is where we're at right now. And as somebody who loves history and music, I'm concerned about this because it's not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop at okay. Well, this is fine because this is allegations about you know something sexual in nature. Okay, fine. What about the people that went to jail for this kind of thing? Tupac, Mystical, you know, what about them? Are we canceling them too? Okay, fine. We cancel people who went to jail. We cancel, cancel accusations. And we cancel people who said something rude. We don't believe that anymore. Okay, fine. We get rid of all this culture and history and whatever else, prominent things in, in society now that are, are making a good thing, they change their life around, whatever. Forget all that. Okay, so we're at this point now where there's no forgiveness. Uh, we don't need proof anymore. <laughs> we don't, uh, you know, we're saying like this is just overall, there's nothing good that can come from this. And the thing I always tell people about when it comes to censorship and joining a pitch, pitchfork uh, nonsense is that you're next. <laughs> you don't know it yet. And it's probably for something you didn't do. Or somebody mixed your names up. You got the same last name as somebody else. You're next. This stuff, this type of stuff doesn't end here. And this is why I like I'm passionate about it. And it's more so not because I'm like, I love Michael Jackson music, whatever. You know, I, I want to play his music at club. Like, forget that. Forget all that. This is a dangerous position to be in for society. You don't want to get into the skeletons thing and pointing at other people to be holier than thou. Like America in particular, <laughs> we've done the witch burning thing and the making people float. We did that already. Let's not get back to that. That's a horrible place to be at, especially in this digital era where you can never erase your history. That stuff's anything on the internet is here forever. So you said something wrong as a joke on Twitter. That's you. That's you from here on out. So, you know, like we can teach our kids to be careful about what you say online, yada, yada, yada. But there's no redemption arc to this thing. This thing with the accusations and whatever else, once they label that on you, you're done. And this is the scary part for me. It's not, I'm not looking at like, well... You know, what about the song or what about like, you have to forget that this concept of I'm a point at somebody I don't like and I want them removed from the Internet. I don't want them to get a bank account. I want them to be able to buy a house. Like, where is this going? <laughs> and <laughs> people make these connections to 1984 and all this other stuff. And I don't want to be conspiratorial or, or whatever about these these this topic in general, but I, I'm, I love technology and I like looking at trends. And this to me is a terrible trend. This is the book burning trend. This is the making people float. <laughs> this is burning people at the stake trend. This is, this is everything bad about North America, America in particular. This is everything bad about trying to forget our history. You know, like, this is, this is the kind of stuff, this is why history books are formed. So we could say, a, a and B and C did this. Let's learn from this lesson and move forward in life. Not let's disappear this person and never have this lesson <laughs> again. Let's just forget it. Put it down the memory hole. Uh, I don't know. I did, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned about this. And forget Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. Forget them. You have to think long term. What's next? Where is this going? I think I'm rambling enough about this video. I don't even know how long this is. Um, 
but I want to hear your thoughts. I've I read through my comment section and the people who follow me and write stuff, everybody's smart. And I get emails and text messages and stuff about and people make very good points about about these videos. And I'm very fascinated to hear what you guys gotta say about this. Uh let me know below. <laughs> Are you okay with the censorship and disappearing people? Are you a little bit concerned about where this is going? erasing history and all this stuff you know are you going to remove these people from your music library or you're never going to listen to off the wall again or a thriller or <laughs> tp1 like you know what i'm saying like where where are we now in this stuff and when's the next person because i guarantee i guarantee the accusations are going to be less it it's it going to be less uh Stuff they can prove, or you know, it do, they don't need a documentary anymore or a court case anymore. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Anything I, I know I said I was gonna end this now, but I got one more rant I have to say about this. I, whenever I think about these things and the unpersoning, like Kevin Spacey and um, Miramax, Harvey Weinstein, you know, like these people were connected to or put forth amazing work. Are they weirdos? Yes. <laughs> Am I defending? Fuck no. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. <laughs> uh, do I believe people should have second chances? Yes. You know, or what's the point of rehabilitation after, you know, jail? May as well just lock people up forever. You know, what's the point of this? You know, um, I don't, I'm one of these people who separates people's work from their personal life. Cause I knew Kevin Spacey was a weirdo back from usual suspects days. I've always heard stories about this guy's a weirdo. Cause I like, I'm a movie buff. And every time I watch a movie, I need to know who did this. I want to know who the camera grip is, you know, or the, the sound grip. I want to know who the camera operator was. You know, I want to. I want to know everything, like where they filmed it, what the budget was, who produced it. I want to know everything. And so, like, I went through a, a, a rabbit hole on Kevin Spacey one day, and I was just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and so for a while, I've been like, "Yo, Kevin, Kevin Spacey's a weirdo," but Kevin Spacey can act his ass off. So, you know, I can't say whether or not he should ever act again, or if he should go to jail, or whatever. Yada yada yada. Uh Usual Suspects is one of my all-time favorite movies. And I got a story. I bonded with my brother about this. And it's like a personal movie to me. Just stuff in life, whatever, at the time. But, you know, it's one of my favorite all-time movies. The director of Usual Suspects is a degenerate. Kevin Spacey is a degenerate. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Harvey Weinstein has produced movies like some of my favorite movies and he's worked with some of my favorite actors and directors and stuff like that. That guy's a degenerate. I have purchased DVDs and Blu-rays from these people. I'm not going to throw that out and burn it in the woods or whatever. I'm still going to watch Usual Suspects because it's, it's a movie that's near and dear to me for personal reasons. Uh, I have in, in my wall of records, I got Thriller, uh, I, I got Off the Wall and some other records from Michael Jackson. I'm not getting rid of that. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know where this is going. I'm concerned. But like I said before, I want to know what you guys think below. Let me know. Uh, <laughs> as Tim Pool says, keep the conversation going below. I want to know what you guys think. You know, are you okay with the book burning? I said that already, but like, where is this going? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, peace out.